Hi and welcome to another One Kit 10 Cards feature. So the new December card kit by Simon Says Stamp has just been revealed. There is a giveaway for this kit on my blog, so make sure to click the link down below to enter the giveaway. The kit this month is packed with goodies, so let's take a quick look on what you get. First of all, you get Festive Berries Distress Oxide Ink. You also get uh, three ties. These are actually a couple of candy canes as well as a little bow. And there is a tiny little piece that you can add on top of your bow. Now you also get sequins in uh, lovely Christmas red color. You also get 12 double sided papers. These are 6x6 and they are by Cartabella. And this pad comes from the Santa's Workshop collection. And as you can see, you get so many different images in lovely traditional colors with reds and greens and blues. You will also get three envelopes in metallic red, metallic white and metallic blue. Lovely and shiny. You also get these two watercolored cards with lovely designs for Christmas. All you need to do is to just watercolor them. They also give you this little swatch of four colors and I'm going to spread it around so you can see what colors you get. And these are all Daniel Smith watercolors. So just color the ornaments and the little deer and you end up having uh, two lovely cards. I'm not going to do them today for my video. Instead, I'm going to share 10 different ideas. Now this is Andre Blue and uh, you get three pre-folded card bases. These are four and a quarter by five and a half when you fold them. You also get a little red tag. Now you will also get two of those pages. These are six by 13 and they are uh, full of stickers. And here is a photo here of what you will get. They are also by Cartabella from the same collection as the paper pad. So everything matches perfectly. Now my kit comes super early before they make the final decision so I have only one page of uh, chipboard stickers but you will get one extra page so you have even more options. Now you also get a lovely stamp set. It comes with this adorable Santa, a little tree, there are uh, lots of snowflakes, tons of um, sentiments, little stamps that you can cut and stick on top of your projects as well as these signs. I absolutely love this stamp set and it's uh, quite big. It's actually 6 by 8. And finally you get these three colors of cardstock along with the three pre-folded cards. I use the full pages to create four and a quarter by five and a half panels. So I work on these panels and then all I have to do is to just stick the panel on a pre-folded card that I have on my stash. Usually I go with white pre-folded cards. This pattern paper comes with four different designs. I'm going to cut out just one of them and I'm going to leave the rest for you to create. All you have to do is to just recreate the same idea and you end up with four different cards. I'm also going to use this pattern paper to cut out a very thin strip. And now I can put everything together. I'm working on a small white panel here. I'm going to place the striped paper at the bottom. And then on top I'm going to stick that uh, little seam with uh, foam tape at the back. Now I already measured where my little seam is going to fall so I can stamp the sentiment. I'm using Versamark ink and a sentiment from the stamp set that inclu is included in the kit that says sending Christmas cheer. I'm going to emboss it with red embossing powder and then I can uh, stick the little scene on top by using foam tape at the back. And now uh, all I have to do to finish it off is to just stick that on top of my red panel. And in the close-up photos you can see that I used some gems just to embellish it a little bit more but of course you can use the red sequins that are included in the kit. For my next card I'm going to use this pattern paper and I'm going to cut out the panel. The panel that I'm going to cut is slightly smaller than a standard card. So when I am going to place it on top of my card I ended up having a little border all around. Now I have this glitter paper and with my scissors I'm going to cut out a slope. Of course if you don't have glitter paper you can always do the same thing by using just white uh, Paper. This is going to create a little snow bank. I used foam squares at the back and I'm going to place it at the very bottom of the little scene that I'm building. And I'm going to use the deer and place it on top of my snow bank. Now remember, my kit didn't come with the correct stickers. Mine have chipboard sticker 
and only one page. So the chipboard sticker is not so sticky. That's why I'm adding some white glue at the back just to make sure that this is going to stay put. Now remember you will get one extra page of the designs so you will have even more options. But I'm going to complete my scene with what I have so I'm just going to stick a little tree there and I also used a few of the snowflakes on my sky. Now I white embossed the same sentiment as the first card and I'm going to call this done. For the third card I'm going to repeat the same idea and create a little scene out the snow. So this is going to be the background. I also have uh, the rest of the um, glitter paper that I cut out previously. So I'm going to stick that down by using tape adhesive at the back. And now I'm going to stamp the sign post from the stamp set to use on my little scene. And since I am doing some stamping I decided to go ahead and stamp the Santa as well as the tree so I have everything ready for the next cards. I am going to use my alcohol markers to color in the sign post and the truth is that um, since I had all the images here I went ahead and colored everything but uh, you will see that I will not end up using the little Christmas tree. The signpost is obviously super easy to color and now all I'm going to do is to just stamp the sentiments inside the little signs. So it will end up saying this way to the North Pole. And in the stamp set there are many different options that fit inside those signs so you can mix and match them. Now I'm going to do some uh, fuzzy cutting and to make my life easy I'm just going to leave a little white border all around. And now it's finally time to put everything together. I'm going to stick my panel on top of my card base. I already added some uh, foam squares at the back of my signs. And I'm also going to stick down the sticker Santa. And maybe in the close-up photos you can tell that I have also added some clear crystals at the center of some of the snowflakes. Now since I have already stamped and colored the Santa stamp, I'm going to fuzzy cut it all around again with my scissors, leaving a little white border. And now I have this little white panel, I'm going to ink it up, I'm not going to cover it up completely, I just want to have a little bit of blue just at the back of my Santa. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to do some stamping with the snowflakes that are included in the stamp set. I'm going to use uh, two or three different uh, kinds of snowflakes. There are many different options in this stamp set. And I'm doing second generation stamping just to make sure that uh, they are going to be very soft and subtle. I went with a sentiment that says making a list checking it twice which I think matches perfectly the design. And I'm going to finish it off by sticking down a little pom pom with a glue dot for his hat. Now my next card is going to be super quick and simple. I'm only going to uh, combine two pattern papers, sticking one on top of the other. And as a sentiment I'm going to use one of the stickers that uh, it looks like a sign and says Santa's Workshop. Uh, to embellish it a little bit more and to add some sparkle on my card, I also used uh, White Blizzard by Nuvo that adds lots of glitter on all the rooftops. It doesn't get quicker than that and hopefully you can see all the sparkle on the houses. For my next card I'm going to do some tone on tone stamping. So again I'm using the snowflakes from the kit and uh, an ink pad that is uh, very close, just slightly darker than the card base. And I'm going to cover it up completely. The idea here is to create my very own pattern snowflake background. I also used two rectangle dies, one inside the other, to create this little frame out of gold cardstock and I'm going to stick that on my panel. Now on this card I want to add a baker's twine string that is threaded all the way across the card so I used my T ruler just to uh, note where I want to create my holes and now with my pick tool I'm just going to make a couple of holes there. And um, you can go with uh, eyelets. I decided to go with brads here, so I'm just going to add a couple of golden brads on each side of my card. And then around the brads I can wrap the um, baker's twine. 
and I'm not going to wrap it straight across. I just want to have a little curve, so I'm not going to go super tight. To keep my twine in place, I'm just going to use my glue as a pencil and just draw a glue line where I can stick the twine on top. The great thing about uh, Nouveau Deluxe is that it grabs super quickly, as you can see, so that's why I absolutely love it. Now, as you can see, I already picked uh, the stickers from my page of stickers, and I'm just going to stick them down by using foam squares at the back all along the string. And make sure to align them first before you commit and glue them down. In the sticker page there is also another tiny little sticker that says Christmas which I'm just going to stick it there to finish off my sentiment. For my next card I'm going to use the dies, I'm going to cut them out of white cardstock and out of uh, red cardstock and I'm not going to end up using the bow but you can see how it looks here. So I have this white uh, panel where I have already uh, white embossed the sentiment that says Christmas cheer and uh, I'm going to stick that on top of my red panel. Also to add some uh, elegance on my card I have created this uh, little uh, rectangle out of gold cardstock. I do have a die for that but if you don't have a die you can always use uh, your rectangle dies one inside the other to create the thinner border that you can create. So now I'm going to use the candy canes and uh, embellish my card. I'm adding some white glue at the back of the red uh, frame. I'm going to stick it there and then on the inside I'm going to use all the little pieces that I have cut out already and I will alternate white and red. It's really easy to do, they fit like a puzzle and they just fall inside those gaps. So here instead of using the bow that I have cut out, I decided to go with the real thing, so I created a tiny little bow with my satin thin ribbon and I'm going to embellish it with one of the stickers just to add a touch of green on my card. Now I'm going to finish it off by adding some uh, shine with my glitter nouveau pen and here are some close-up photos. For my next card I'm going for a shaker card and I will use these frame dies. Uh, if you don't have such fancy dies you can also use your rectangle dies to get the same effect. So I have cut out a window and used one inside the other of those dies to create this little red frame which I'm going to stick around the window just to embellish it a little bit more. I think it gives a more finished look. At the back I added double sided tape all around the window. Now I'm going to peel it off and then place on top my acetate. So now my window is ready and all I have to do is to use some foam tape around the back just to create a little pocket there. I added inside some of my red sequins that uh, came with the kit. I'm going to peel off the backing and then cover it up with a piece of pattern paper that I have already cut out in size. And as you can see I had to sacrifice some of the lovely pattern paper at the back. Now all I have to do is to just stick this uh, on top of a card base and as the sentiment I went with one that says Merry Christmas that I have already white embossed on a piece of uh, red cardstock. It's quick and simple to create but with this lovely pattern paper at the back as well as the sequence you don't really need to add a lot. Moving on I'm going to show you how you can turn these little images into a card. So here is an idea, I just cut out the one with the house. I'm also going to create a, a snow bank like I did in a previous card using white cardstock. And I'm going to combine those two layers by sticking them down on a scrap piece of paper. And for the snow bank I'm going to go with uh, foam tape at the back. This way I will end up having some dimension and it's going to look as if the house and the little scene is far at the background while I have uh, a snow bank at the front. So this is where I'm going to use one of the stickers with the track and the tree at the back. I'm going to stick it there and this way I create a little scene with lots of different layers and dimension. Stick the little scene on the card, just stamp a tiny little sentiment on one corner and you end up having a lovely clean and simple card with lots of dimension. 
And finally, for the last card for today, I have already cut out the candy canes and as you can see I am separating them so that I end up having just one. Just another way to make the most out of your dice. I'm going to stick this candy cane on top of a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to go all around it with scissors to separate it from the rest. This way I end up having some backing and uh, I can now play with my nouveau drops. I will alternate white blizzard and ruby slippers, red and uh, white, to fill in all the little gaps in between. Once I finish filling in all the gaps, I'm going to leave this candy cane to dry and I will end up having a sparkling embellishment for my card. Now for the last card, I'm going for one of those cluster designs where you add uh, lots of uh, little uh, bits and pieces at the center of your card. So I'm going to thread some twine through the little uh, tag that was included in the kit. I'm going to stick that down with uh, foam squares at the back. I have this piece of uh, pattern paper, again I'm going to add some foam scores at the back and stick it down. And the idea here is to create a little cluster with lots of elements and different layers. So I have already cut out a little snowflake from a die that I had in my stash, so I'm cheating here, just used something from my stash. I'm also going to stick down the candy cane, I'm going to stick down a couple of stickers like a green snowflake and some greenery. And in the stickers page there is a tiny little uh, sticker that says Merry, which I'm going to stick just above the word Christmas to finish off my sentiment. And since in your kit you will get a second page of stickers, I'm sure you will have even more options to add uh, different elements in such cards with clusters. And I'm finishing off my design by using these three stickers of snowflakes in red and white. So here are some close-up photos of the last card for today. And now let's take a quick look on all the 10 cards that I created using products from the December card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And the truth is that this kit is packed with products, so there are way more cards that you can create by using the supplies included. So as you can see here, I still have the two cards that I haven't used, so I could easily create 12 cards by watercoloring. And for my stars I can keep the stamps, the dies, the ink as well as uh, the sequins and I have plenty of stickers and pattern papers that I haven't used at all. So here are some close-up photos on all the cards that I have created. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those 10 cards was your favorite. Also there is a giveaway running for this card kit on my blog, make sure to go there and enter. Also don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends if you had fun and got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.